I woke up and chose Pain this morning because today we're going to be getting the ZRG Dark Aether and we're going to attempt it in one game. Now, if you guys have ever seen this thing in zombies, it is not good at all. Like this thing is awful, which is the reason I've been putting this off for so long. But here, as you can see, we have the ZRG only level 53. I never got it to max level. The second I got it dark matter, I threw it to the side. I was completely done with it. <sighs> but today is the day. And as you can see, I have no camos for this thing at all. I do have one kill with it. So technically, I'm not going to be getting everything in one game. I must have got it out of the box or out of a trial or something. But basically, we need to do everything. So really quick, let me check the camos. Uh, 2,500 kills, pretty standard. Same with crits and pack a punch. 15 special or elite, 10 kills rapidly, three or more crits, and 20 consecutive kills without getting hit. Okay. And really quick, the build I'm going with, I'm gonna have the Cobra Red Dot on. There's no way I'm using the ZRG scope. That seems like pain. The infantry stabilizer for our muzzle, cavalry lancer for our barrel. I was debating between this and the last barrel, but I, I wanted the extra armor damage. Hopefully it's the right pick. Uh, Ember sighting point, bruiser grip, a six round fast match mag speed tape and the sas combat stock also going with ring of fire here i don't know how it's gonna work i haven't used a sniper in zombies in so long so hopefully we can get it done i think we're gonna attempt this on mauer so let's go ahead and hop into it Whew. all right here we go i can I'm, I'm already feeling the pain first let's see our ads speed oh my lord this is gonna be so painful and that reload speed maybe i should have just went for like a multiplayer build for this thing that is so ridiculous. I got to make sure I get my crits early. There's no way in hell I'm going to be sticking around until like round 50. This is already bad. It's only round two and I'm, I want to be done. I know it's actually pretty early in the game, but I'm going to go ahead and zip line across. I want to try to get power on as fast as possible because the sooner we get pack a punch, the sooner this thing starts shooting a little faster. I'm really scared for when the Panzer comes. I feel like I'm not going to be ready. But before that, let's see if we can take out a Tempest. Oh, Tempest, where are you? Hey, buddy. No way it takes more than two shots. And the hip fire is awful. Ooh. Ooh. I'm already down. I have to use my self revive already. Let me just kill the Tempest while I'm down. We went down on round three. This is going to be such a struggle. Come on, give me money. Oh, this thing can collat now. If you guys didn't know before when the ZRG came out, it was so awful in zombies that it couldn't even collat. But at least now we, we get that option. Ooh, hit the no scope on him. Pop this open. Should have raced across the tracks. And we'll get our loose change. Uh, why do they have to make this thing ADS so slow? Oh, come on. I'm opening the door. Opening this one. Throw this loose change. Throw that. Toss this bad boy in here. Did I not pick up the fuse when I killed the Tempest? Oh, this is a nightmare. I hope it's still there. Okay, it is. Thank God. All right, now we can put the fuse in. No, come on. Are you kidding me? There we go. I literally can't afford to miss a single shot in this. Come on, line up for daddy. Oh, there's the stroke camo. We got one camo down. I think this definitely would have been easier on Firebase. We're not here for easy. Come on, stop bolting it and shoot the gun. No, this is ridiculous. Even in the ring of fire, it's bad. Whew. It's wasteland camo. Tempest spawn, please. Just die. No way. We died on round four with this thing. 69 eliminations though. Shout out sex. Okay, man. We can't get it in one game. This is going to be so much tougher than I thought. And I already thought it's going to be hard. How do I lose on round four? I, th I think we need to take another look at our attachments. All right. So we need way faster ADS. We're going to have to go with the serpent wrap. I think the speed loader. Bruiser grip's fine. I think the ember sighting point's fine. I don't think there's any way we're getting better hip fire. The barrel's fine. The infantry stabilizer might be screwing us here. So we might just get the stabilizer 20. Combat stock's good. I think we're set now. Jeez, that's embarrassing. We have an opportunity to change maps here, but you got to dance with who brung you. If we die again, though, I'm going to Firebase. All right, I'm for sure speedy running power this time. How fast our ADS now? A little faster. Not a crazy improvement, but an improvement. Now, my biggest question mark with this challenge is I have no idea where I'm going to like stand to get most of my camos. So I don't know a, a nice big straightaway that I can just chill at. Maybe like down in this alleyway by Wonderfizz. So this might, this might be like almost impossible here. Tempest, Tempest, where are you? There he is. No way. There we go. What? How do we still go down? I guess it's just destined. Hey, this time we're not forgetting the fuse. And I think uh, rule number one for this weapon is I am staying away from indoors. Corrosion camo. We're moving up. I'm out of ammo already. It's round four. 
So I spend my hard-earned cash on some ammo. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. Now we actually have the fuse for this. There's the acidic camo. And here's me about to die and lose the game. I need to get out of here. And after how last game worked, I don't even know if using Ring of Fire is the best way to go. Oh, we got him in two shots there. Oh, let's put our last fuse in and we have power on. What an accomplishment. I regret doing this so much. This gun is awful. Doing this back to back with the, the scuffed marshals. Nonstop pain. Start up Pack-A-Punch. I already know this disciple is going to be insane to kill. He's going to be moving all over the place. Oh, never mind. It was one shot. At least with this ring of fire. And now it's all about saving up for Pack-A-Punch. All right, well, let's try this. I'm going to train him up and then try to go for a big clat. Let's start him out early. Oh, jeez. I think I need aimbot for this. All right, we have enough to pack a punch. Let's do it. Exit the menu, please. And this is what the ZRG looks like with the Maurer pack a punch. Pretty crazy. Probably the first time this has ever been seen. I don't think very many people are using this, but it is called the head cannon. It looks really sick. I can't take that away from it. This gun's awful. We're really going to need an ammo mod off the bat. I don't know what to get. Probably cryo. And I'm grabbing quick revive since we don't have a self revive. Jeez, almost went down just grabbing it. Please shoot the gun. Thank you. I'm kind of a mad lad for even just sitting up here. There's the growl camo. I'm leaving. Hit the zip line, god damn it! Whew. And the extortion camo. Oh my god. This is the most stressful round eight I've ever had in my life. All right, round nine. We're one round away from this panzer coming in and just ending us. I'm gonna grab death perception. And now that we get increased salvage, let's open up all these. All right, I'm done collecting the salvage. I have only 54 blue scrap now. Jeez, I thought I was gonna get a lot more. I was hoping I could save up for a, a self-revive. It seems like this thing's only colliding, but for two zombies, it's not going through all of them. I think the other snipers will go through a lot. Hey, that was only two. All right, that's round nine. Our Panzer buddy is gonna be coming in here soon. Let's grab Jug while we wait for him. I'm gonna go try to upgrade my armor before he comes in and just slaps me and upgrade our gun to green. Oh, there's our boy. What's first shot do? Awful. Oh, he's pissed. Okay, we're kind of doing hefty damage to him though. There we go. That was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, this thing is not colliding further than two zombies. So I'm gonna have to basically individually kill every single zombie that comes our way. There's our glacier camo. We might just have to train around the tank like all day. Can I just hit fire? Nope. Hit fire is so inaccurate. Okay, let's get speed cola. Uh-oh. Disciple, please. I do not have time for you. Oh, there's nothing but pain. I'm missing all these shots. No way. Amphibian camo. We're at 250 crits now. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Let's pack a punch. All right, let's grab stamina up. But the biggest issue with this thing for me is not only do I have to basically individually kill every single zombie, but look at this. Here's one kill. One, two, three. Literally three full seconds in between when I can get a kill. So add that up. Three seconds between kills. There's how many zombies in each round? Only adding up. And the collats only go too deep. Like this is going to be a whole day affair. I'm like not even using my ring of fire at this point. Because I know I'm just going to die like inside of it. Because it's not like it increases my fire rate. I just don't have to reload. And reloading is probably faster than bolting back. I really hate that I started today's video saying I woke up today and chose pain. Because I quite literally just woke up, hopped on, and I this is, this is way worse than I thought it was going to be. 100 times worse. Yeah, I'm getting dead shot now. I really wish instead of crits, it was get kills with ammo mods. Because I'd be having way more fun. Let's try this. Nope, still have to bolt back. Yeah, ring of fire is useless. I'm switching off ring of fire. Maybe Tesla Storm's better for this, honestly. I'm gonna grab mule kick just so I can get extra ammo. Actually, before we even get a chance, I'm not using Tesla Storm. I'm going Frenzy Guard instead. That way I can at least get armor back when I use it. Scavenger camo. At least we're still getting a little bit of progress. Even if it's taken us like 14 years. I think I could probably watch all of One Piece while trying to grind this thing out. I'm gonna freak out. It's taking way too long. I just wanna go home. All right, let's try our Frenzy Guard method. Everybody stay still. This is awful. It literally only kills two zombies per crit or per clat. Like, come on. Please make the gun worse. It's way too overpowered. This weapon's probably better at, like, killing the player using it than any zombie or any player multiplayer. Did he really just stutter step me? He literally just put me on skates. But after four days, three weeks, and seven hours, we finally have enough for Pack-A-Punch 2. And it looks pretty good. These Pack-A-Punch camos is the only thing keeping me going. I'm literally having to train these zombies up on round 18. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm doing a great job training. Okay, we're buying a little time here. Can I get out? 
Oh, how the hell did I get out of that? I was, I, I was honestly, I was kind of crossing my, my fingers and my toes there, hoping that I'd die. Just so I could go on Firebase or at least like take a break from this. Oh, just end it. Eviction camo. Still getting camos at a very slow rate. This has to be the absolute worst weapon ever added to zombies. All right, we're on round 21. 586 eliminations, 450 crits, and no will to go. Disciple, please, and kindly, fuck off. All right, we're stacking up salvage. I need to upgrade my armor and maybe even my weapon. Yeah, we'll get to blue. We can also get it to pink. Not bad. All right, pop the frenzied guard. I'm sweating. Let's just get a few crits here while we can. Man, frenzied guard does not last very long. Disciple, mask off. Fuck it, mask off. Those are mana camo. I think we're done with elite kills now. 750 kills with it. Oh, we're still not even like halfway. All right, there's Pack-A-Punch 3. Let's take a look. It looks really sick. So much coverage on this gun. I really wish this gun was better because it looks amazing. But I gotta go back to suffering now. If I can make it to round 30 with this thing, I'll already consider it a success because I can't even explain how awful this gun is. Boundary camo, 750 crits. I'm like actually suffering right now. This is so painful. Yo, know, last time when we did the marshals, I was saying I'd much rather grind out a launcher than those. But this for sure, a launcher and multiplayer, way more fun than grinding this out. We finally made it to round 30. It took me an hour and 32 minutes in two games to get to round 30 with this thing. But really quick, our stats, we have 1,206 eliminations, 837 crits. We're not doing too bad, but this is just taking forever. This is the slowest weapon to get Dark Aether. I think I'd rather go back to Modern Warfare and get about 2,000 mounted kills and go for 2,500 crits with this thing. I think using the ZRG in zombies is probably better than taking melatonin. This put me right to sleep. That's it. To spice it up, I'm trickshotting one. Oh, a hit marker? Are you kidding? I can't win today. All right, let's try the trickshot again. Nope. Maybe I gotta do it off this one. Trickshot? Nope. There's our bloodshed camo. We still have a thousand kills to go. All right, we're back. Took a short little break, but we are back on the wagon and we still have so much to do. I was really debating just like, eh, do I really want to do this? And yeah, yeah, I do. Somewhere deep down in me wants this thing Dark Aether. So we got to get it done. Already back to the painful grind. Run, turn, bolt, shoot. Now right, let's take out these disciples or attempt to. Same with this mangler. Oh, there's a panzer too. They're just throwing all the elites at me. I was going to say, we can take these elites out and then go ahead and pop our frenzied guard and just work on crits. But it looks like they're just going to throw every elite in the world at us. You can eat a molly. No, now I need the frenzy guard. How did I get in between these? I amaze myself in the ways I just get cornered. That's one disciple down. There's still a panzer somewhere in this crowd. This panzer really needs to die. And it's not doing that for me. Come on, panzer. One more shot. Nope. Now one more. And one more after that. And just one more. There we go. Oh, look, another disciple. Get the fuck out of here. Mangler, you can leave me alone as well. What do you think about that? Get domed, idiot. Get tea bag too. 1,500 kills plus pack a punch. There's our little drench camo. We're almost halfway there with everything. We're still behind on crits, but we're making up for it. Almost every kill we're getting now is a crit. This really feels like my, my Joker arc, sitting here and running around in a circle. Shooting zombies with the world's slowest sniper. This is really how villains are made. Disciples are like such cool characters and their design is nice and like the idea of them's cool. But in game, they are so annoying. It's not even like they, they run at like head level with everybody else. So it's trying to just like need to aim with them. They fly like light years above everything and then just power up other zombies. They just get annoying. Really good touch on Frenzy Guard to give me full armor when using it. Kind of clutch. I don't got time to be going to the armor stand. Last little crawler, buddy. Dome. I'm gonna get this Panzer low health. And I'm gonna try to trick shot him. All right, the Panzer's literally one health, so there's no way I can even get a hit marker on it. Let's try the trick shot. Oh, missed it. Let's try it here. Oh, we got it! Get fucked, Panzer. You're getting teabagged after that, too. All right, there's our 1,500 crits. We finally got our threshold camo. I think we're only three camos away. We're probably two hours away from getting this thing Dark Aether. Frenzy Guard has actually been so clutch for this gun. It just gives you that extra second to breathe and get the crits. Oh, there's our rotten camo. 
We just need about 600 more crits and we got everything done. Oh, there's our Pack-A-Punch camo. Now we really just need our crits. All right, we're on round 50. This has been a struggle. For, for a few of those rounds there, I've literally just been like listening to a podcast, like grinding out crits because just sitting here, running in a circle, shooting zombies in the head. It's like driving with the radio off, like with no music playing down a straight road with nothing to look at. Like I was gonna fall asleep if I didn't do that. But we're getting there. We only need 400 more crits. We have every other camo and I never wanna see this thing again once I get this dark aether. No way. I have to stick the self revive. Go right back up and buy it back. There we go. Up on down. Get my perks back. All right. We're back in business. Only our second down on round 51. Our first down was on like what? Round four. So lots of distance in between those two. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not going to be possible for me to get a quick revive. Everyone go away. Shoo. I'm hitting my self revive. Let's go up. Put the frenzied guard so I can get my self revive without anyone touching me. I need my perks back too. There's no way I'm getting any further without stamina up. Grab that. Okay, come on. Please be fast. Perfect. We got everything. All right, last zombie. And we are now on health cap. I still need to get about 120 more crits. We're almost done. Or I can, I can taste it. We're almost done. Uh, basically, what I've been doing this whole time is looping around the tank. Anytime an elite like a disciple shows up, I try to take them out first. They're the most annoying. I try to get a double headshot. Right now, I'm missing it. I'm still adjusting to the, the sprinter speed. To take them out, I'll loop around. I'll try to get as many headshots as I can just running. But mainly, I'm just trying to buy time until I get frenzy guard. That way, I can guarantee some headshots guarantee my safety but damn these these high rounds get crazy now there's such a huge delay in between shots sometimes i feel like it it even delays what i'm supposed to shoot like not even just bolting back like it just won't shoot sometimes and i need to be so deadly accurate with it this has been the most grueling grind of my life the good thing is though at these high rounds to get a crit i basically just have to aim at like head level when they're chasing behind me and i'll usually end up getting one except for right now i'm missing there we go. Oh, there's Gold Viper. We did it. Oh, it only took about 60 rounds because we died on round four the first time. <sighs> it's my time to go. Goodbye. Oh, I guess not. Well, I'm frenzied. Look at this. No health frenzied. Let me just get one last huzzah on them. Hurrah. Whatever the hell the word is. I'm like delirious at this point. Playing zombies my entire day. Go ahead. Do your worst, zombies. Oh my God. I didn't even do anything and I got quick revive. I'm just an animal. Now I just got to watch the timer dip out. The map kind of looks cool in black and white. Not gonna lie. It looks like a, a noir film. Put a little film grain on here and we're looking good. But we finally did it. We went down five times. Two of those times were just me ending it. I went down once super early. I didn't go down again till round 51. So honestly, I'm I'm pretty impressed with my own performance here. I'm gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back. All right, and this is everything we unlocked through that game. Damn near every camo. Aside from the few that we got in our very first game, we got a lot. Oh. Game settings has changed. We've been here for so long. Vanguard's out. All right, now I switched it back to the default ZRG. Now here's a peek at it with the gold Viper camo. Awful, horrible, not worth it. Plague Diamond is actually really nice. I say actually as if there's a bad Plague Diamond out there, but Plague Diamond's always looking nice. Dark Aether, a little underwhelming. I was hoping there would be some on the scope, but you know, it has a lot of body coverage, so I guess I'll give it a pass, but if it had it on the scope, this thing would look beautiful. Now let's go ahead and hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the ZRG looks like with Dark Aether. Lots of coverage on the whole body of it. Like we said, I really wish it was on the scope, but it looks pretty good. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. This took out my entire morning, probably about like four hours of recording. So if this video comes out late, that's why. But I'm glad we got it done. That's just another notch on our belt. Finally completing the ZRG. This has to be the toughest weapon to get done in zombies. Like absolutely, I don't see any weapon getting close to this. But this grind has taken years off my life. So I'm gonna have to end the video here. If you guys like this and you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.